story. We were over at Hartlepool and the same lads I've been speaking about. I'm doing a few stories on them because we've done quite a lot. We must have done about 100 taxes between us. So we got a phone call off a kid saying, uh, the lad, it, was his, it was his son who phoned him, he said, there's a lad out out manor, he's selling gear. And he's, selling it, he's got it in the living room, little bits and bobs, but what he's got in his kitchen, He's got a, he's got his drawer when he opens it. You can see the knives and forks got on and up in the, inside it because he'd stayed the night a couple of nights before and seen him getting them getting the gear through the, the doorway. So anyway, so he, so he's in the house selling the gear, the lad and everything. So we watched the, the house for about half an hour or so, and about five or six people had gone. So we know he was selling. So he goes to the door anyway. He tried to put, pick a knife up and cut me. I just put, barged in and pushed him over, and he's on the floor. Oh, fly, fly, I can't it, it, and his ass went. And anyway, so fucking the next minute, I've ripped the drawer out and the bag was about nine ounces of speed to come out. We've got two ounces of coke uh, and we've got about, I think, four or five hundred pounds we've got in cash. And uh, yeah, he was uh, selling it for somebody up there, but he was like a bit of a gobshite telling people. He's got certain people in Hartley who were friends of mine telling me he won't dare come on my house because of this person, because of that person. But I'd only been to see the lad. And when I'd seen the lad, I went over to his house and I'd give my ounce of coke for letting putting it, like, you know. He's supposed to be looking after him, but I give him a little drink as well. So, yeah, we've got a nice touch that night. But if they keep their fucking daft mouth shut, it's easy to say, You won't do this to me, you won't do that. And soon they start saying things like that. It starts to think of my brain thing, that's it. It's like these people call me now. I won't let it go. And soon as I'm fit, I'm just ready. You know, that's what I'm like. And that's, that's what the tax man does. But yeah, another little story there, guys. So I hope you're all blessed and uh, keep watching. Don't forget to push the like buttons. And um, love you. See you soon.